Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Adam Thorpe, and today I'm going to be presenting some work on a toolbox called SOX, which stands for Stochastic Optimal Control Using Kernel Methods. So modern dynamical systems operate in uncertain environments, and the uncertainty can come from several places, including intrinsic uncertainty that comes from model uncertainty, or perhaps exceedingly complex mechanics, or from extrinsic uncertainty, which comes from the environment. And so these systems need to deal with uncertainty to obey strict operating constraints, safety constraints, and unforeseen human factors. Uh, for instance, we may be considering an autonomous or assistive driving scenario where we have to deal with other drivers on the road, aircraft takeoff and landing scenarios, or urban air mobility. Uh, where we have UAVs operating in dense urban areas. So as autonomy becomes more prevalent, we need tools which are capable of handling uncertain systems that are data-driven uh, and that enable control and can assess safety. Uh, Model-based control, which is useful when we have known dynamics and disturbances, often fails when faced with real-world autonomy. Uh, and this is partly uh, because the system or disturbance becomes difficult or even impossible to model when we have real world uncertainty. Uh, on the other hand, when we have data-driven scenarios, we're often dealing with unknown stochastic processes and we need to use data to synthesize controllers. So the question we ask is, how do we solve data-driven stochastic optimal control problems while accounting for real world uncertainty? Uh, and this is a difficult question because with data-driven solutions, we often don't have a lot of prior knowledge of the system dynamics. And so we have to provide assurances of safety and enforce operating constraints without a strict mathematical model of the uncertainty. So in this talk, we present a demonstration of our toolbox for stochastic optimal control and reachability using kernel methods. Our toolbox uses a data-driven approach to do stochastic optimal control, including dynamic programming and reachability to assess safety. Our toolbox is written in Python, and we have included a number of examples that are available in the documentation that showcase the capabilities of the toolbox. Also, our examples have binder integration, meaning you can run them interactively in the browser without having to install anything. So data-driven techniques have been investigated previously for stochastic optimal control and reachability. And typically these techniques rely upon neural networks, Gaussian processes, and Koopman operators. Uh, related work in this area originally comes from dynamic programming and optimal control, uh, and has been extended to include chance-constrained optimization, stochastic reachability, and robust optimization. Uh, notably, infinite LPs are related to our approach, but use a slightly different scheme. Our approach is related to kernel embeddings of distributions, a non-parametric machine learning technique developed in Song 2009, and then further in Grunewalder 2012, and based on some extensions of this technique to stochastic optimal control in some of our recent papers. Uh, and this framework has allowed us to look at problems related to dynamic programming, chance constraint control, and stochastic reachability. So the general problem that we consider is this stochastic optimal control problem, where we seek to minimize some expected cost by selecting a stochastic policy pi. Uh, the optimization is subject to the system dynamics, which are represented as a stochastic kernel Q and possibly to some operating constraints where we seek to guarantee that the trajectory remains within some user-defined feasible set F with at least a desired probability. Uh, Model-based approaches to this problem often rely upon linear dynamics and known disturbances to enable tractability. Uh, here, we assume that the stochastic kernel that describes the dynamics and the uncertainty is unknown. And this makes the problem intractable. Uh, instead, we assume that we have access to data taken IID from the stochastic kernel Q, uh, 
Uh, and we use that data to formulate and solve an approximate reformulation of the original problem. Uh, this problem is difficult since we don't have prior knowledge of the system dynamics and also because we seek a stochastic policy, which is more difficult. So our proposed approach is to project the data into a high dimensional space of functions known as a reproducing Colonel Hilbert space or an RKHS. And the RKHS has a special property known as the reproducing property that allows us to evaluate a function using RKHS inner products. And the main idea we use here is called kernel embeddings of distributions, which allows us to embed the integral operator of a stochastic kernel in an RKHS. And we can then use the embedding to approximate the expectations and probabilities in the stochastic optimal control problem. And this approach has several advantages, uh, namely that Hilbert spaces are a natural fit for many optimal control problems, and that these techniques are non-parametric, meaning we make very few prior assumptions on the underlying system or the dynamics. And in addition, the RKHS formulation turns the approximate optimal control problem into a linear program, uh, which we can solve very efficiently. Uh, using kernel embeddings of distributions, we're able to formulate an approximate data-driven problem. Uh, using the data-driven approach, we can estimate the embeddings using data, and then we seek a vector of real-valued coefficients gamma that can be viewed as a vector of probabilities, uh, weighing a set of admissible control actions that the policy can choose from. Uh, we don't cover the details of this technique here for time, but we refer to our paper and our other works from CDC and L40C for more information. Uh, most importantly though, this problem is an LP uh, and can be solved efficiently using off-the-shelf solvers using interior point or simplex algorithms, making them computationally efficient. So we first demonstrate some preliminary results on unconstrained control based on prior work. Uh, in the first figure on the left here, we show a comparison of the kernel-based technique on a stochastic chain of integrators system uh, when compared to the model-based solution computed via CDX. We can see in the vector plot here of the controlled system that the solution we compute is very close to the true model-based solution. And it's a little hard to see here, but the blue arrows are the solution from CBX and the orange arrows are our computed solution. Uh, on the right, we see the results of our algorithm applied to a non-holonomic tracking scenario uh, using dynamic programming and a non-Gaussian disturbance. Uh, this shows that we're able to handle nonlinear systems and we're also able to handle non-Gaussian disturbances and solve dynamic programs. Uh, the algorithms are also computationally efficient and scale primarily with the sample size, uh, taking only a few seconds to compute a solution. Uh, next, we demonstrate our toolbox on a more interesting example of a quadrotor system modeled as a point mass integrator system a more interesting example of this would be to use a more accurate quadrotor model, but we use the point mass as a starting point and for the purpose of comparison. So the goal here is to control the system to a target set while avoiding obstacles. Uh, however, the system is subject to uncertainty that comes from uncertain mass and drift parameters and also from wind effects. Uh, and we want to compute a policy using data collected from the system. However, uh, one challenge with this problem is that the optimal policy is mixed, meaning it chooses uh, between the safer route that goes around the obstacles or through the narrow corridor uh, between the buildings with a mixed probability. Uh, and the reason this is the case is because the mixed policy actually has a lower expected cost than if we only chose one path or the other with 100% probability. So here we see the Monte Carlo evaluation of the algorithm where the figure on the left shows the policy computed via our algorithm when we have a low tolerable probability of failure of 5% 
and the UAV chooses to go around the obstacles with a higher probability. Uh, then we can see that as we relax the probability of failure, the UAV chooses to go between the obstacles in the narrow corridor with a higher probability. And this shows that we're able to successfully compute a mixed policy using our toolbox. Uh, in addition, the algorithm is very fast, taking approximately 100 milliseconds to compute the solution, though it took approximately five seconds to generate the sample and the control actions used by our policy. Uh, and this is an area of current research. Um, we then compared our solution with an existing result from ONO 2016, which uses Boole's inequality to decompose the chance constraints and a Lagrangian relaxation coupled with a bisection technique to compute a mixed policy. Uh, we can see that our method computes a policy which is able to satisfy the chance constraints and is able to handle the nonlinear dynamics and uncertain parameters of the system. Uh, but these elements are challenging for existing techniques and we can see that the existing methods can fail to satisfy the constraints in the presence of these uncertainties. Uh, this shows that our technique is capable of handling systems which are traditionally very challenging and may be useful in scenarios where model-based techniques can fail. Uh, however, we note that our technique is sensitive to the sampling scheme that we use to compute the policy, which means that having access to a good sample is key to obtaining a good result. Uh, the other main problem that our toolbox is designed to handle is stochastic reachability, which is useful for assessing safety. The stochastic reachability problem shown here seeks to compute the probability that a system following a policy pi will reach a target set T uh, and remain within a safe set K for all time. And we typically write this problem as a product of indicator functions. Then in order to compute a maximally safe policy or a policy that maximizes the safety probabilities, we want to compute a policy that maximizes a dynamic programming recursion backward in time. However, this is a traditionally challenging problem in part because we have a multiplicative cost, uh, but also because in the data-driven scenario, we don't have prior knowledge of the stochastic kernel. Uh, meaning we cannot compute the expectations. So using our approach, we solve an approximate reformulation of the problem using kernel embeddings. Uh, here we have a small demonstration of this on a stochastic chain of integrator system that we chose for validation. Uh, the goal here is to remain within a small region around the origin and the trajectories that leave the safe set due to the dynamics will have a lower safety probability than those that stay within the set. Uh, so using data, our toolbox is able to compute these safety probabilities without a model of the system. And then we can use our algorithm to compute a maximally safe policy that has a higher likelihood of safety because it maximizes the safety probabilities at each time step. Uh, the warmer colors here indicate higher probabilities. So here we have a demonstration of this compared with the actual dynamic programming solution computed with known dynamics. On the left, we have the approximate solution computed using our algorithm. And on the right, we have the actual dynamic programming solution. Uh, the algorithm is very fast when compared with the dynamic programming approach, taking approximately eight seconds to compute a solution, while the dynamic programming solution was over 30 seconds. Uh, also, our solution has low overall error uh, with a maximum error of about 10%, uh, which is mainly focused right at the edge uh, where the sample density is lowest. So in conclusion, we have presented our toolbox called SOX. Uh, and it has several algorithms for stochastic optimal control and reachability, and we weren't able to cover all of them here in the time we have. Uh, the main advantages of SOX are that we are able to compute computationally efficient solutions to stochastic optimal control and reachability problems, since we solve an approximate reformulation as an LP. 
And we're able to handle mixed policies, which are challenging from uh, many existing methods. Uh, however, the main disadvantage of our approach is that solutions are data dependent, meaning we need a good sample to compute a good solution. Also, the feasibility of the solution depends on the available data. Although we're looking into ways to make the sample more useful and informative. And this is a big area of future research. And with that, I'd like to thank everyone for attending today. Uh, and the toolbox is openly available on GitHub at the link here.